Hey guys, welcome back to What Should I Play? Today I'm going to share some memories with you and let you know why you should play Lost in Shadow. Lost in Shadow was released in 2011 by Hudson for the Nintendo Wii. It's a puzzle-based side-scrolling platformer that incorporates some RPG elements to allow you to improve your character. You play as an unnamed boy's shadow who becomes separated from him by a Darth Vader looking villain and is thrown from the top of a tower. There isn't much to the story of this game aside from what you can piece together from the collectible memories. Your only goal is to climb back up the 50 plus floors of the tower, each representing its own level. The charm in this game comes from two places. The first is the gameplay. While the character you control traverses the world in the 2D shadow plane, there are some areas where it's necessary to manipulate the 3D world of the tower to allow you to continue on. This adds some seriously interesting puzzle elements to the game. It can be tough though, I sometimes find myself focusing on the foreground and missing out on my jumps. Occasionally, you'll encounter mini-missions called the Shadow Corridor, which in most cases are optional, but they really play up these 2D to 3D dynamics for some really thought-provoking puzzles. Sometimes rotating the entire world or changing the direction of the lighting to continue on. They're not quite as complicated as something like Braid, but they'll still leave you with a feeling of accomplishment after you clear the later levels. The second area that really stands out in this game is the atmosphere. I've heard a lot of people compare Lost in Shadow to Eco in some respects. The developers base this game on an abandoned tower in Tokyo and also an abandoned racetrack. As a result, many levels of the game are overgrown with wildlife and the metal gates and switches are coated with a weathered patina. This, combined with the absence of any other people, and a haunting soundtrack creates an uneasy feeling of solitude. To cast the appropriate shadows, the exterior levels are lit by a low-hanging evening sun. Its orange glow inspires a bit of panic because this tower doesn't seem like the kind of place you want to be after dark. Lost in Shadow is a true hidden gem for the Nintendo Wii. I had heard about it when it was in development and when it was demoed at E3 2010, and I maintained interest in it until its release. At that point, its mediocre review scores really turned me off, and it was a few years before I picked it up. But when I did, I was instantly impressed. At that point, I decided not to fall into the trap of putting a lot of weight on review scores. If a game interests me, I'll pick it up and play it. Do you have any memories of Lost in Shadow? Or how about any other games where you were turned off by the review scores but found yourself enjoying the game? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, like me on Twitter, and tune in next time when I help you figure out what you should play. Click here to check out last week's video.